Hey guys, you are Sue, and today I'm gonna be doing a haul. So this is the 20th haul in my channel, and since the last haul video, which is a uh, haul 19, I have separated hauls in my channel to three hauls. So there is the Lego haul, and there is the minifigure haul, and finally there is the Lego bootleg haul, which is this video. So if you want to check uh, both of those videos out, I'll put a link to them down in the description box below. So yeah, uh, so let's start with some Spider-Man stuff. So I have the black suit Spider-Man, which is pretty cool. It's from this set, which can combine into a spider mech. So I'm gonna put them right here. I have Venom Big Fig, which is pretty cool. And I have some Infinity War stuff. So I have a uh, Gamora right here with some skates apparently. I have a uh, Shuri, which has the wrong hairpiece. Uh, for some reason, Shing Yun didn't mold the hairpiece. I have Bruce Banner right here. I have uh, this Iron Man which has uh, these specially molded armor pieces which is really cool and uh, they also include the chrome armor piece which is also really nice so yeah and some of these I'm gonna remove them later because uh, I won't be displaying the ones that aren't that interesting in this uh, platform so yeah so here I have a Corvus Glaive which is from the same set as uh, Shuri. And this is Iron Man Mark uh, 47 by Dolapine. Here I have Deadpool by Dolapine in his X Men kind of outfit, I guess. So, yeah. And here I have Falcon. This is a bigger type of set. And yeah, he does have his wingsuit, which is cool. And here I have War Machine with this jetpack top thing. So yeah, it's from this set. And here I have two endgame figures. So I have uh, the Thanos Big Fig and I have Iron Man Mark 85 and this entire set if you combine them together you can make a kind of midi size uh, war machine buster so I have some big fix right here by Deku so here we have the black Hulk buster which is just the black Hulk buster and here we have Groot this is Whiplash and yeah, this is Iron Monger, and they are both uh, released at the same time, so they are practically the same set, I guess. But um, they have different set numbers. And here I have the GC Bricks uh, Hope Buster set. They have uh, this kind of Funko Pop S looking Hope Buster, which looks pretty nice, and yeah. GC Bricks is actually just Deku in disguise. I'm not sure why they're making a new brand, but it's probably because of all the, the Lepin Raid and stuff like that. So, yeah. But um, it's a cool figure nonetheless. And I have some PUBG figures. So, here I have uh, this guy, which is the main guy in the poster. This is made by Shingon. And have this guy which has uh, a bow and arrow and a bridge and I have this guy with an air drop and yeah that that was by Lily by the way so yeah I have the leaping one I only have this guy right here and then I have this SWAT type, type of guy not sure who he is supposed to be but um, I thought he looked cool, so that's why I got him. So here I have some six packs for uh, PUBG. So this is a uh, Lepin. So yeah, these are just PUBG avatars with uh, parachutes. And yeah, the parachutes are very hard to attach. So I didn't really bother to attach them. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna be doing a review on them and yeah, I, I certainly won't be displaying them on this platform because it's not big enough. 
and uh, this guy with a mohawk and this uh, girl with the red hair I guess and I have more PUBG sets it's not the end so here I have uh, this PUBG set made by doll with uh, the egg rubs and all of the avatars that's uh, popular I guess in PC and yeah here I have just the avatars themselves and you will probably recognize these guys if you have seen a PUBG poster before and yeah they do come with very nice uh, accessories as well and here I have uh, this arrow set uh, by Deku which is quite an old set but does come with some very nice figures and yeah I'm gonna put this at the back and this right here this is uh, an Iron Man set made by Dwalapine I will arrange all of these later but yeah I'm gonna put this right here so here I have the Solo the Star Wars Story 8 pack set so this is Kuei Tosai this is a Y-Wing pilot from the UCS Wildwing set and yeah these builds right here they are not random builds they are supposed to represent something this one is supposed to be a TIE fighter I'm not sure what this one is supposed to be and here I have Han Solo and Chewbacca uh, he has the TIE silencer Chewbacca has a turret I have uh, the Groy right here the DBD I believe and I have the astromech Groy that's included in the UCS Wildwing set and yeah this is supposed to be a droid gunship or something like that and this is supposed to be a CIS ship or just a uh, platform or something I'm not sure but yeah here you have a droid which has a head facing the wrong way and for some reason is carrying a red lightsaber uh, this is from the Kessel Run Millennium Falcon set and yeah, this build right here, this is supposed to represent the clone ship that's included in the uh, Jedi and Clone Troopers battle pack. And here we have Lando, which he has uh, this kind of droid fighter right here, which is in the classic uh, color scheme. So that's pretty cool. And yeah, that's really it for the Solo A Star Wars Story Shingon set. And the last Shingon 8-pack minifigure set is the Avengers Endgame set. So this one, if you combine all of them, you can build a Quinjet. So the first figure, this is Thor in his Quantum Realm suit, Ant-Man with uh, the new helmet, which I'm quite surprised that Shinya molded it. Minifigure Thanos, Endgame Thanos. And we have Minifigure Hulk. We have an Outrider. Iron Man Mark 5, Captain America in the Quantum Realm suit, and lastly we have Captain Marvel. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the Endgame set. So continuing on with the smaller size sets, uh, so here we have these three sets right here that's made by Bella. So they are the Cars uh, sets and yeah, here you have Mater disguised as Ivan. You have Mater himself and you have uh, one of the races in the Grand Prix. So yeah, these are the three car sets that I got and mini version of the spider crawler and here you have Carnage with a part of the spider bike set I believe that came out this year so yeah it's basically a smaller version of the side bit I guess so yeah here we have this Captain America right here with uh, this kind of fighter jet that's uh, included in the in one of the Spider-Man sets that came out a few years ago. So yeah, here we have a Shingon Hall of Armor set. Included is the Iron Man Mark Fifty with his uh, jetpack at the back, and yeah, that's that. 
here we have a uh, Black Widow with a shield satellite which is in the Marvel superheroes and here we have an Avengers Endgame set so this is the mini Bentor that's based off from the polybag version but just more detailed with a uh, rocket and yeah here we have uh, the Hall of Armor set with one of the armors. Um, yeah, this is not included in the original Hall of Armor set. Shinya actually separated all of these into smaller sets. And yeah, if you combine all of them, you, you will still have the original Hall of Armor set. You just have more suits. So yeah. And I have the second one right here with uh, Mark 1. So yeah, and here I have some uh, Jurassic World sets. So I have blue right here with a guard with a dirt bike, and here we have the Sticky Moloch with Owen on a bike, and here we have this right here, this pen of thing, dinosaur pen and control area with Owen and two of the baby raptors so yeah here we have the incredible set with uh, Violet and the helicopter this is part of the set uh, part of one of the sets that was in the Incredibles uh, 2 wave so yeah and then here we have a symbol block set, which is a Panasonic store. It's a pretty cool looking building. And we have two of these PUBG sets made by Lily. Here's a speedboat with a crate. And here is a Creeman bike, I guess, with a fence. And yeah, that's um, pretty much it. So for the last two uh, small size sets, they are actually uh, four packs of sets and they are uh, both PUBG. So the first one is made by Dargo and yeah, here you have uh, an air drop and yeah, you have the figures and you have all the accessories, everything that you see in PUBG, I guess. And yeah, and here's uh, the bottom ones and yeah. And then the last one right here, this is made by Doll. So this is the entire packaging and yeah, this is the back. So yeah, I'll take out the individual sets. So the first one, this is the Armored UAZ. The second one is this uh, house right here, not sure what it's called. And here you have the plane, and this is the church. So yeah, that's pretty much it for all of the small size sets. So before moving on to the bigger sets, I have some Stuban sets right here. So the first one, this is a construction vehicle. It's part of the builder series that's in the construction sub theme, I guess. And yeah. And the next one, this is a police vehicle. And yeah. And this is a bigger one. Uh, yeah, this is a sports car. This is a Formula One car, I guess. And this is a truck. And here I have this set right here, which is a police set, which just has the car, the police minifigure, and the dog. So here I have an entire set right here, which if you combine all of them, you can make an aircraft carrier, but this is not the full set. So uh, this is a boat, and this is another boat, I guess. And here you have the planes, you have this one and you have this one and this is the back they are all the same and there's 10 in the entire set so yeah and here we have a police lineup so this one is a police car and this is a SWAT uh, car I guess and yeah 
and all of them they are all the same set including this one as well this is a police helicopter and last one this is the police boat so yeah and the last presets for Slubun so I have uh, the plane set right here which does have planes and yeah so here you have this type of plane not sure what it's called and this is a fighter jet and this is another variant of the fighter jet so yeah but aside from that that's pretty much it for all of the Slubun stuff and now I'm gonna show you all of the medium sized sets and yeah the first one this is actually not a like a bootleg set it's brick related so yeah so this is the Airfix uh, Lamborghini Aventador so yeah this is the back and here I have some Shingon sets so the first one this is the Dodge Charger RT this is the Dodge Challenger uh, Demon this is the Chevrolet Camaro ZL1 race car or stock car I, I forgot the full name but yeah, uh, and the last Speed Champions car is the Sembo Block McLaren 720S in green. So yeah, it's not a color that LEGO made, so it's kind of original, I guess. So for more of the mid-size sets, I'm gonna move to the back here to have more space. So this one is the Lily Jurassic World Pteranodon Chase with this helicopter and the Pteranodon and yeah, it's a pretty cool set and also an old one so here I have the Leapin Fantastic Beast Grindelwald Escape I believe is the name of the set so yeah, this is a Leapin set Grindelwald Escape I believe is the name of the set so yeah this is a Leapin set. So moving on, here we have the Bella uh, Groid Tank uh, or the AAT. And yeah. And we have another Bella set right here. This is a Ninjago set, uh, a very recent set actually. And yeah. And then here we have a Lily set which is this prison break set I'm not sure what's the name of it but it's a Ninjago set and yeah it came out quite a while ago so yeah and then here we have uh, the Shingon the Black Manta Chase that's uh, for the Aquaman movie so yeah and uh, let's move on to some of the bigger sets. So for the big sets, there are uh, eight of them. So let's start with the first one and also the second one. So they are technically not big sets, but they have big boxes. So these are assemble block sets. And yeah, so this is an Apple store and this is a 7-Eleven. So they have very nice boxes and yeah, the builds, they are really, really nice. And yeah, can't wait to review them. So I'm just going to put them right the back there. So this one, this is also a symbol block set. So this is the block gold aircraft carrier. It's not that big, but... It does look cool so there's that I'm just gonna put this right here okay so the rest of the sets they are all Leapin sets so this one this is the Leapin Star Wars The Last Jedi Snoke's Throne Room Battle I'm not sure what the exact name of this is but yeah it's something like that so yeah you have uh, some very nice figures in here the original uh, version it's kind of overpriced so there's that so yeah let me put this right here so this one right here this is also an exciting set so this is the Lee Pin Avengers Infinity War Thanos Ultimate Battle set with the Benatar you have Thanos you have the Gauntlet and yeah I so this one, this is also a leaping set. So this is the Chinese New Year uh, reunion dinner, I believe. 
So yeah, it's something like that. I couldn't get the original version because it's kind of rare even though my country has it. So yeah, there's that. So it's kind of cool that Leapin made it. Okay, so this one, this is a endgame set. So this is the Iron Man Hall of Armor. So yeah, it has a pretty banged up box. Everything inside is fine. So yeah. So the last set is also an endgame set. So this is the Avengers Endgame Compound Battle. So you have Thanos, you have the compound and some very nice figures. And yeah, haven't built this yet. So these are all of the sets, so I'm gonna rearrange them and we're gonna take a look at the giveaway. So I have arranged uh, all of the sets and I've uh, left out some of them. So yeah, I'm gonna show you what I'll be giving away in this video. The ones that you are seeing right now, they are not the ones that I'll be giving away in this video. They are safe for future giveaways. So, the first one, this is the DQ uh, Iron Man Tony Stark minifigure. And these two, they are uh, Slubun Police Vehicles, which, yeah, I have already shown you just now. And I have bought an extra of each of them. So, yeah. So, this is the Thanos Big Fig by DQ. And the two minifigures that I'm going to be giving away in this video are these two Star Wars minifigures. So they are Chewbacca and Han Solo, which I have already shown off just now. And I have bought an extra for each of these. So yeah. And as a special for the 20th haul in my channel, I'll be adding in another set, which is the Ninjago set. This is the Serpent Temple or something. I forgot the name, but... Yeah, I'll be adding in this set. So yeah, there, there'll be three winners in this giveaway. So how you can win this giveaway is by commenting anything interesting like what should I review next, what should I get next, or what should I give away next, and etc, etc. And uh, you have to subscribe to my channel, check out my Facebook page, and share this video. And lastly, all you have to do is just wait for the giveaway winner announcement video and the rules for this giveaway is that you have to be a subscriber to join the giveaway and please try to write in one comment when you are trying to ask a question because it's a little annoying when you have multiple comments and the giveaway entry deadline is the 19th of September 2019 uh, at exactly 11.59 p.m or 23.59 and my time zone is GMT plus 8 and I'll be following that so yeah uh, you are not allowed to ask to be entered to the giveaway or else you are disqualified once asked and please stay active for the giveaway winner announcement because I'll choose a new winner if you do not respond within a certain amount of time and after I've announced the winner please respond ASAP because the prize takes a while to arrive. And lastly, I will only give away what's shown in the giveaway section. So the prizes are these three. So there are three winners in this giveaway. So yeah, that's um, pretty much it for all of the giveaway stuff. So that's pretty much it for the 20th haul video. This took quite a while to make. It took uh, quite a while to uh, plan out and it took two days to film. So yeah, I'm glad I have finally made this video because I've been planning this for uh, quite a long time and I've been wanting to do this for months but I just didn't get the time to do it I have a lot of reviews uh, that I need to do so yeah I was going to release this video a few weeks ago but I just didn't have the time to make it because of all of my schoolwork and stuff like that. I've already made a video explaining why I have been absent from YouTube for quite a while and I'll put a link to that video down in the description. But yeah, this is the entire haul and you can probably expect the next haul in probably like the next year. Uh, maybe sometime du during January and maybe before the end of February worst case scenario But if I have the time to do it, I'll probably do it in 
January. As for the next LEGO haul, I'm not sure. It just depends really. But um, the next Mayfigure haul will probably come before the end of the year. So here's uh, an overview of most of the sets. There is also a lot that I tossed to the side, including the Stuban ones, and yeah, I got some pretty cool sets. I have all the endgame stuff, and yeah, the next haul I'll probably have Far From Home sets. So, yeah, thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate all of your support in these haul videos, and I'm really happy that I have made 20 haul videos. So yeah, so I'll put all of the information about the giveaway down in the description box below along with the YouTube comment picker thingy that I use uh, also down in the description box below and I also put links to all of my social media pages down below. So um, if you like my channel, make sure to subscribe right here and watch more videos right here. So that's pretty much it for the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you right soon.